So this question then, we're asked to work out the integral from 1 to 4 of 2x plus 3 root x, all with respect to x. So to do this, what we need to do is, first of all, change this term here to x to the power n. So we've got the integral from 1 to 4 of 2x plus. Now, square root of x, you should know, is x to the power a half. If it was the cube root of x, it'd be x to the power third, and fourth root of x, x to the power quarter, and so on. Okay, so we do that first of all. Next, in the usual way, what you have to do is add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we're in a position to integrate this, so if we do that to the first term, add 1 to the power, we already got x to the power 1, so add 1 to the power, you get 2, divide by the new power, 2. On to the second term, add 1 to the power, so if you add 1 to the power half, you get 1 and a half. Try and write it as a top heavy fraction, 3 over 2, and then divide by the new power, 3 over 2. Then, because this has got limits, if it didn't have limits, you'd normally write plus c on the end, but because this has got limits, we put this in square brackets, like so, and put the limits on the end, going from 1 to 4. Clean this up. If we clean the first term up, we have 2x squared divided by 2. The 2's go into one another, give us just simply x squared. Now, for this term, you can either treat this as 1 and a half into 3, 3 divided by 1 and a half, which goes twice, okay, or you could um, you could times top and bottom by 2, and if you did do that, this is what you'd have. If you times the top by 2, you'd end up with 6, and if you times the bottom by 2, you'd end up with divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 over 2 is exactly the same as 6 over 3, which equals 2. So either way, you're going to get 2x to the power 3 over 2. Now we have this in the limits then, going from 1 to 4. And what we've got to do then is just substitute x equals 4, first of all, in for x, and then we subtract what we get when we substitute x is 1 into here. So if we do that, we've got... 4 squared, I'm just going to write that like that, plus 2 times 4 to the power 3 over 2. Then we subtract what we get when we substitute x as 1 in. So we have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 to the power 3 over 2. And close the brackets. Now you can either use your calculator, but really this is such an easy sum to do that I'm going to do it without the calculator. We've got 4 squared, which is 16, and 4 to the power 3 over 2. You should know that the 2 here means you square root the 4, which is 2. Then you cube the 2, which is 8. 2 eighths is 16. Okay, All right, just squeeze the 16 in there. And uh, we now minus 1 squared, which is 1. And again, we've got the square root of 1, all cubed. Square root of 1 is 1. Cube it, you've got 1. 2 times 1 is 2, so you've got plus 2. Work this out, you've got 32 minus 3, and that's going to come to 29. So there's your answer.